Okay, Broncos, in this video, we're going to talk about how to find an article in Flipster and then share it with a teacher or a classmate on your Chromebook. So from the library website, notice our distance learning information. Sorry about the kids upstairs. Underneath read though, uh, you can see read a magazine on Flipster. Now in the video that I will link at the end, it talks about how to access Flipster with a username and password. So check that out, this one, we're just going to assume you know how to do that and we're looking to share the article. Again, once you log in, you see the magazines. Now, most of the time PE classes do this for makeup assignments, but with distance learning, maybe more of you will need to do that for PE classes. I know a lot of you are asked to use Runner's World or Prevention Magazine, both on here. Uh, once you click into a magazine, it kind of downloads it so it stays in that tab, which is nice. Uh, it's easy to click through. A lot of magazines have ads at the beginning, so you can click on pages and scroll through all the different articles. Also, over here where it says all issues, you can see all the issues of that magazine back to 2015, which is nice. So it gives you more options uh, as far as content. Also notice up here, search. You can search in just this issue or all issues. Clicking that all issues is nice because if you type in a keyword about something you're interested in, it'll give you a lot more options as far as what you're able to read. Once you find an article that you're interested in, like this one is about kidneys, let's say I wanna share that with a teacher as an assignment, you have a few options. It doesn't make a, a lot of sense off, off the bat to say, go ahead and print it because we're not actually going to print it. But printing us allows it to uh, us to save it as a PDF or a Google Drive document. So click on print pages. Uh, Print pages in view just prints the ones here. You can say print everything. And when it gets to everything, then you can limit the pages. Let's say you wanna uh, save four or five instead of just the two. So print pages in view takes us out to the print dialog box. Depending upon your computer, uh, it might just go to this print dialog box first. Uh, here you have some options. But up here is the main thing. We want to change it from usually R7 Cloud 3. We don't want to do that. We can save as a PDF or to Google Drive, save to Google Drive, change our settings, and then click the Save button down here. Once we do that, it's in our Google Drive, and I assume everyone knows what to do from there to share with teachers or other classmates. Um, also, if you save as a PDF on your Chromebook, you can write on it, annotate it using your touchscreen features which might be nice. Again, check out the video and the subscribe button and the other help videos that should pop up here in the corner in a second, including the one that tells you how to log in to Flipster. Have a great day.